To be able to access the command line on Matrix, where you do your um, submissions and test your C programs in, at Seneca College, uh, you need to have a terminal client. Uh, the most common and um, a light weighted terminal client that is out there is called PuTTY. To install it on your Windows computer, what you need to do is to search for the download application. So simply search for PuTTY download, PuTTY download. And you go to putty.org as you see. And you can download putty here. Then, uh, depending on what type of uh, operating system you have, uh, if you have uh, a 32 bit, select this one, 64 bit, this one, 64 um, bit is the most common one. Uh, and click over it, it downloads the MSI, that is an installation package. After it's downloaded, double click on it to open it. The installation goes straight forward. Click next, 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 install. Click yes, and finish. And then you have Putty. Now I'll close the browser to log into. That's the README file we don't need to look at. Uh, you're going to see Putty is installed. Click on Putty um, for the host name type matrix. Seneca College. Ca. And uh, it has a port 22. So make sure it's SSH. Click open. The first time you do, it's going to ask to 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 save the the key. Click yes. The next time, it's not going to ask that. Then you can log in with your student uh, student account. And password. And that means I successfully logged in. Clear. Now just to demonstrate how it works I just copy to IPC 144 I have a test application over there I use a very simple um, editor called NLED so if I type NLED and then test.c it opens the file test.c and as you see it's a file um, that's uh, just prints I just installed Visual Studio I just copied that so I'm gonna change that I'm gonna say I have just installed body okay if you want this NLED to go to command mode so you'll be able to save rename do whatever you want to do just press the escape command stay escape uh, key as you see it says command question mark uh, to see what the commands are put a question mark and it shows all the things what you're interested to do easy stuff is X uh, uh, is the command X to save an exit it is the command S to save the file it is the command Q to quit okay now you can go through different ones and see what they do this is uh, as far as it goes if you don't want it to use tab character what you need to do uh, if you want putty not to use tab character what you need to do is to um, for command press T and then it says how many spaces you want for tab put one okay and now it's not going to use tab characters anymore so as you see it is now all as spaces okay that's that so if I want to save an exit I press escape it goes to command mode now I press X it saves and exits if I want to compile the code on matrix, I'll go gcc dash dot wall and w is capitalized, then I'll put test dot c and uh, so this means to compile. If you want to give the executable a specific name, you put dash o and say I'm going to run that, um, um, I'm going to call it, I don't know, um, ptest okay party test hit enter if you don't get any error or warning that means everything's okay if I take a look at the list of a file you see a p test is created p test is the executable of the 
command that you of the program that you have. So if I type over here p test, it essentially runs it and say I have just installed putty. So this was a quick demonstration of installing putty and using NLED to edit your C files on Matrix. Have a beautiful day.